Hello people, may the most high be with you. What's up? How you been doing? Much love. It's gonna like strike some souls in the like wrong way, I think. Um, today, I wanted to share a very controversial video, you know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know or haven't heard anything about this, um, this video is about to be concerning the real name of the most high, or the real name of the most high and his son. So, first of all, I'll start off with some scripture. It says in the Bible that there will be a figure that represents itself as the Messiah and it fools the whole world. The whole world will be fooled by this dude who shows up and he says he's the Messiah. Now, this dude is Jesus. Even the picture of Jesus is of a dude named Cesar Borgia. And this guy was a murderer was a homosexual this man was a very evil man but leonardo da vinci decided to draw him as the messiah and this is what you see the dude with the long flowy hair and the white robe and everything like that that's what he is whatever let's do it now with that being said what is the messiah's real name now it is yashua you know what i'm saying and god's name is yahweh here's the deal before martin luther not martin luther king but martin luther made the original bible you see today the kjv before that every bible was written to say yah or Yahshua or Jehovah. They knew the real names even back then. I think it's called the Tetra, Tetragon, something like that. Back then, you know what I'm saying, in like 800 BC, I think it was BC or AC, they were calling God by his real name. He said to exalt my name over all the nations so that they may know I'm first of all the most high, but I'm the most high Yah. Yah is his name and Yahshua is his son's name. Jesus means a lot of things in a lot of different languages, but one of them is Hail Zeus. So essentially when you call on Jesus, you're you're calling on Zeus, clearly in the name. The J is the hail and the sus is the Zeus. I forgot what the language was. I'll leave it up here. First of all, let's talk about the Dajjal. The Dajjal is basically a figure that looks like Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's not Jesus, but they say it's the Antichrist. Even they know that the Antichrist is coming, right? And they showed a picture of what their Antichrist they think looks like. You know what I'm saying? And it looks exactly like Caesar Borgia. Even they know that Caesar Borgia and Jesus is not the real dude. He is a false. He is a fake. Martin Luther revamped the Bible in old English times. And that's why it's so misconstrued because people were changing up and taking out certain books in the bible it's horrible and unfortunate that's why we have jasher we have enoch we have all the other books of the bible the apocrypha you know what i'm saying the sefer bible all the books that were basically taken out of the bible they went ahead and put it into like a compilation that's where you get the sefer and apocrypha and everything like that but they took a lot of books out of the bible there's like a hundred some books 130 like there's even more that aren't discovered yet that they took it out martin luther did that martin luther is also the one that replaced the name Yah with Jesus. This is for a reason. I'm trying to wake y'all up, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to wake up, be able to have an open mind about this, you know? Type in the chat, Yahshua, not chat, we're not streaming. Type in the comments, Yahshua, if you actually are internalizing what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, finding it to be true. Do your own research. Do your own research, I say that heavily, you know what I'm saying? Do your own research so you can believe it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's not true, maybe it is. Um, but this is just something that I've known for years, and I'm just now speaking out about it. Much love to y'all. That's all I have for today. Start calling him Yahshua. You know what I'm saying? God, okay, God knows your heart, right? So if you really didn't know before, he'll not count it. He knows what you're trying to do. He knows that your heart is pure. Your intentions are pure. But now that you know, you're going to be responsible to be saying his name now. You're supposed to exalt his name over all the nations. You know what I'm saying? To all the nations, this is the God I serve. This is the Israelite God we're talking about. This is the one that brought us out of Egypt. This is the one that Abraham and Isaac were serving. This is the real deal. Make sure you're exalting him. And I pray that this video gets to whoever needs to see this. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll talk to y'all later. Much love. Keep it going, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.